Hello friends, my name is Isaac Amora Chiyoji. Today I'll be talking on the overview of second method and an America analysis. Let's dive into it. I'll be talking on the background of second iteration. The revision of this second method by the second iteration to find a possible solution. And then we'll look at two good examples and a second iteration. This second method is one of the open iterative methods for finding rules of, of, the, of a given function. And this method assumes the function should be approximately linear to the area under consideration. That's where we want our root, where our root to be found. It requires two initial approximation x0 and x1 to start its iterative process. And it retains only the most recent approximation in each iterative process, which we'll look at it from a few examples. Having a graphical example, this is our f of x function going and like we as the function as the method requires, it requires two initial case x1 and x0. So in its iterative process. Once we happen to get x0, x2 here, we tend to ignore x0 because x2 is tend to be a better, to give us a better approximation than x0. Then we follow our x2 and x1 to give us our x3. x3 also, having get x3, we tend to forget our x1 and then we follow x2 and x3 to give us our x4. So we continue with this iterative process until we happen to get what kind of our determined approximate value. So how can we derive this second method? Given a function f of x equals to zero, we want to call on the Newton-Raphson method as seen below. You can watch my video on overview of Newton-Raphson method for more for how to derive this Newton-Raphson method. But in, but in this video, we want to follow this Newton-Raphson method to help us to get our second method. So is it back from question one? Okay, we want to do something to our derivative function here by following on backward divide difference method. This method wants to ignore finding the derivative of a function because some finding the derivative of a certain function is really cost. So to to ignore this, we want to fall on backward difference approximation, which is in the form of this. Then we substitute it in here, which give us the it would give rise to this this expression, this expression that we have here. So then we now move further to do a little manipulation, of which we we finally happens to arrive at this, and then we expand this one as well. What we what we did was we multiply this one by this, and then we expand this one here, which gave rise to the whole of this. Expanding the whole thing, we now finally expand the whole of the numerator, which gives rise to the whole of this. And then we do we happen to do little ca some ca cancellation. This one cancel this, and then we do little rearrangement, which helps us to give our second method. So I want to take some few remarks. And that is a creative method. This second method ignores, as already said, finding the of the certain function by falling on the backward divide difference. The x mode value at which there is convergent is the, our approximate solution. And like I have already said, it takes two approximate values to start its iterative process. And this method uses the most two current approximation in its iterative process. How do you perform this iteration? As explained from the, from the graph, we start our iterative process with the initial gains. We substitute them into the second method formula, which gives us our x2. We ignore our x nodes. We use x1 and x2 to give us our x3. We ignore our x to get x4. We ignore our x1 and we follow x2 and x3 to give us our x4. So we continue until we happen to arrive arrive at the approximate value. 
So when are we going to stop this accretion? As you know, you are writing a computer program to solve a second method. A problem of a second method. We also have the error formula, which is quite known use because we don't really know the true value. Our x known, our x here, we don't know the true value. So we we kind of mostly use on the use on this commonly used topic criteria, which is x n plus one minus x n should be less than one. A certain epsilon or tolerance. Some people also choose to fall on this or this in their activity process. We also want to look at two good examples under this second method. So assuming we are given this equation using a second iteration with this initial guess, guesses or initial starting approximation x not to be this and x not to be this. We rewrite the function f of x in terms of this. And we find the functional value at, of the x naught, which is this, and x1, which also gives us the, this functional value. We substitute the whole of this into this. It gives us our x2. That's pretty simple. We now ignore our x naught as already as said in, our, in the previous slides. We ignore our x naught. We fall on x1 and x2. This is our x1 value and our x2 value give us their respective functional values here. We substitute it into the whole of this and give us our x3. Now, getting obtaining x3, we tend to ignore our x1. We fall on x2 and x3, which they also have their functional values here, respective functional values here. And then we use, we substitute into the second method to give us our x4. After this few iterations, we have it to obtain our convergent value, which tells us our second method is one of the fastest method, iterative method, in solving nonlinear equation. So I want to look at I want to look at our example two. Is it consider? A nonlinear equation is of this form, and this one we are, we were told we are happy we were told that our in, our root lies within this interval. But here lies we have to be given initial guess. Assuming you are not given, you can still guess it yourself. Take two successive terms from this, and then find the root. So with these initial guesses, we find the root. We are asked to find the root. So we write the function in terms of this, and then. Taking x naught and x1, we find their respective functional values here. We plug them into the main second method, which gives us our x2. This is our x2 value here. So we tend to ignore our x1 here again, x naught here again, and then we follow on x1 and x2 to give us our x3. This is the respective functional values of x1 and x2. We plug it here, it gives us our x3. We now tend to ignore our x1 here. So we use x2 and x3 to give us our x4. So here is the conclusion. Within just few steps, we happen to arrive, arrive at our convergence value, which is 1.6180. So we, after successive iteration, the approximate value of interest that we are looking for converges to x star, which is 1.6180. We have come to the end of this tutorial on the second method and its application. Thank you. Please help, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. God bless you.